Greetings everyone, Dr. Brian Scott with you. We are studying insight to the end times. We're interested in finding out from the scriptures, from the Bible, where are we in God's timetable? Are we close to the end? Are we close to the seven years of tribulation? And so on and so forth. And today we're going to share some really interesting material with you. But if you haven't caught us in the past, if you've missed our podcast, this is number 154 today, week number 26. So if you haven't caught us, you can go to uh, Victory Christian Center, that's C-E-N-T-R-E dot C-A, and you'll find our, our uh, podcasts are there under the media button, or you can go to our new website, insightstotheendtimes.com, and you can see the uh, previous podcasts there. Well, I want to share some thoughts with you about what's just happened in our, our world, and that is uh, our Queen Elizabeth II passed away on September the 8th at the age of uh, 96, and after 70 years of being the monarch, uh, being the queen. She's remembered all over the world in newspaper articles and uh, posts on the websites and on the internet and so on as a as a leader with who understood her duty and operated in complete dignity. She was a an individual of great uh, status and standards and she exemplified her duty, her commitment, her service and her dignity. Uh, it, we call it in spades. She really, really did. Now, as she passes, we come to the conclusion or the understanding that we are losing a, a person of great dignity, integrity, and very strong uh, leadership. Very quiet, but very strong leadership. She was one of a kind, 70 years. She was on the throne, ruling, and, uh, and so on. Now, um, we used to have the very same qualities of service and duty and dignity and integrity and leadership in our churches and in our homes and in our businesses and in our government. We used to, not so much anymore. What's happened to them? They seem to have eroded. Now, yesterday we were studying the fact in 1 Timothy 4.1, that uh, in these last days, these latter times, some are going to depart from the faith, giving heed, paying attention to seducing or deceiving spirits and demonic doctrines. Well, we're seeing a deterioration in our society in all these areas, unfortunately. Do you, can you remember back to when a man's word was his bond? His handshake was better than a contract. You could count on him to come through no matter what. If he said he could deliver the product to you on such and such a date, he delivered it no matter what he had to do to fulfill because he'd given his word. Not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. Uh, we, have, um, we only have a few instances where that is the case, and when it occurs, you think you've experienced a miracle. <laughs> really. It's such a different world we're living in. Why have things gone so, so quickly? Well, the more we disrespect God, the more we disrespect the office of the queen or the king, the lower the standards become. And as the standards drop, then we have people becoming their own gods. They do what they want. They do it when they want to do it. They do it how they want to do it, where they want to do it. They'll do it at the expense of others. They don't care. It becomes a case of, uh, it's my life and I'll do what I want with it. It's unfortunate, very unfortunate. But we are in a case, we're in a time frame right now where duty, duty has gone out the window. Dignity and integrity are f words that no one even knows the definition to. And um, one, one that really bothers me is most people today reject truth. They reject truth. And... Um, they ignore the facts, they ignore the proof, they ignore research, they ignore the fact that you've studied for days and days and hours and hours to come uh, forward with uh, truth to share with them and they reject it. Um, today's society are all know-it-alls. They have opinions. 
I heard one uh, leader in the United States asked a question of university students on the East Coast in the Ivy League level schools. What's the definition of freedom of speech? And their answer was, freedom of speech is anything you, whatever you say must agree with what I believe. Freedom of speech is what you say must believe, must agree with what I believe. How squirrely is that? Unrighteousness, unrighteousness uh, is no longer ugly or dirty. It just happens to be the way of life. So life has evolved into this. My life is me, myself, and I. I do what I want, what I want, and because I want to, I'm my own God. Wow, that's 1 Timothy 4.1. Seducing spirits, deceiving spirits, doctrines of demons in operation. I sure hope that's not you. See you tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Bye.